Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So here is a small quest that ended up having a pleasant surprise at the end. So you know how most of these smaller side quests always involves you landing somewhere remote and then talk to the local people and they somehow get in trouble, they just need your help and that usually involves you hunting down some enemies and pirates and things like that. But this one, okay, so it is the same, but at the end, it kind of became this mini Crimson Fleet-like quest. After you help them out initially, which is to kill the spacers, and by the way, most of the action happens in space. So this is one of the few quests that you get to use your ship. And after helping them repair a couple of satellites so they can establish communication, you get paid and you think that that is it, that it's over the quest because most of them just end like that. But this one, the NPC would tell you that he managed to triangulate the location of a spacer's base. Then the families of the people that you help, they have to band together and go with you to destroy that base. And here is the part that it really reminds me of the Crimson Fleet, at least the ending. You all go to that location, there's a big space fight that once you finish, you get to board the Deliri Star Station that the spacers are using as a base. So this got me thinking, does this quest actually eliminate the spacers base? Like do we kind of eliminate them? The entire quest just became this big surprise. The quest is called Failure to Communicate and you get it by going to the Artair system. Once you're there, you go to Artair 2. There should be a distress signal. That will begin the quest with the next step being going to this place called Lopez's farm. And once you land there, you're gonna talk to this NPC, the main NPC, and his name is Lopez. It is a really surprisingly fun quest, especially for those who did the Crimson Fleet quest line and you kind of miss it. You kind of wanna have a little bit of taste of that again, but not actually, you know, redo the whole thing. It's probably about an hour. It's really, really small quest. One tip that I have for you is once you get to the end, once you board the enemy base and you kill everything, don't forget to get the master key laying on the desk. To go downstairs, you're gonna find three vaults. Those are vaults that the pirates stole from the Gold Bank ship. So sounds familiar? Very similar to the Crimson Fleet quest line don't miss out on that. You do have a lot of credits. You should also probably get a legendary out of this quest as well. I got one, it was a helmet. I'm pretty happy because I do have a lot of legendary weapons but not enough of helmets and suits. So that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, to me, this was a pretty pleasant surprise. It was a very enjoyable quest compared to at least some of the other ones, smaller ones that I've done. So highly recommend it. I hope you guys check it out, have fun, enjoy the game, and I see you all in the next video.